Hey everybody, this is Paul with another SQL Skills Insider demo video. The last Insider newsletter that I did, I talked a lot about backups and I've also gone on about corruptions in this newsletter. So what I thought would be cool would be to do a demo of something that most people don't really consider when they're thinking about what to do when disaster strikes, which is do a tail of the log backup. A tail of the log backup is picking up all of the transaction log that's been generated but not yet backed up since the previous log backup. It's the only way for you to be able to recover right up to the point of a crash unless you're using some kind of synchronous mirroring or synchronous SAN replication mechanism. So tail of the log backup is really very, very simple. What we're going to do first is create a database to play with. And then I'm going to create a table that's just going to store some pretend transactional data. So I put in my table transaction number one. And then I take a full database backup. And then I put in my table transactions two and three. Now, I haven't done any kind of log backup. Very, very simple scenario. And then SQL Server crashes. So while SQL Server is crashed, unfortunately, the, let's make sure I've got that. Unfortunately, the IO subsystem damages the data file. So there's my data file, gone. SQL Server restarts. And when we come back up, we try to use the database. Of course, we get our disconnection error message. Try to use the database, and of course, there's a missing file. Now, we of course know what file is missing. We could go and look in the error log, and it would tell us our MDF wasn't there. Now, what are we going to do? If at this point we start to restore that database back, we lose forever the opportunity to do the tail of the log backup. So one of the first things that you should always have in your disaster recovery handbook is, do we need to do a tail of the log backup? So in this case, I'm going to try and do a tail of the log backup, just doing a basic backup log. But it says, no, you can't, because there's damaged or missing files. Now, as long as since the last log backup, there wasn't a minimally logged operation, you can force the log backup to complete. And the special syntax you have to use, completely documented, is this. You do a backup log with no truncate. And that says, even though the data files aren't there, go and back up the transaction log. So I go ahead and do that. Now, just to show you, if I hadn't done my tail of the log backup, and all I did was a restore of my um, full database backup, then after doing that restore, of course, I've only got transaction number one. I've lost transactions two and three that I had that I hadn't yet backed up. But of course, we've just done our tail of the log backup. So let's restart that restore sequence, restore my database, this time saying with no recovery. Also adding in that tail of the log backup. And then I said with no recovery on both of those restores, so I have to complete my restore sequence, kick the system to do any undo. There's nothing to do in this case. And then I've managed to salvage everything. Very cool. But again, unless you take your tail of the log backup, if you start to do the restore and you overwrite the database that's damaged, you lose forever that opportunity. Now, what happens if, for instance, you have some corruption and the server crashes, everything goes down, you lose the data files, and all you've got is a log file, and the original SQL Server instance has completely gone as well? Well, in that case, you can take the log file that you've got, take it over to a different instance, as long as it's running the same version of SQL Server, do a hack attach of that log file, and then you can do a tail of the log backup. I'm going to show you. So what I did was I created a, uh, a database, exactly the same scenario that I, I've just shown you. Created a database, um, did a couple of backups, log backups, shut down the server, and deleted the data file. And that was on this instance, the default instance here of my, uh, my laptop. So I'm going to pretend now that this default instance isn't available. So this connection, you can see down here, is connected up to a different instance. This is one of my named instances on this laptop. So all I've got here is I have a, this is the demo directory. I have the setup script that I did. I've got my script that I'm just about to execute, and I've copied off the log file. So I just have some backups, and I have a log file. 
All right, you might notice a little jump in the recording there. The, uh, the phone rang and I had to edit that out of the recording. So, going back to our demo. The backups that I've already taken, okay, I copied across from the other server. And what I can do is I can just go ahead and restore those. Let's make sure there isn't a dbmate2008 database there first. Okay, remember we're on our, on our named instance. So I can restore the database backup, moving those files. And then I can restore my log backup that I'd taken. Remember we were in this pretend scenario. Complete our restore. And what we've got is a couple of transactions. So we're missing some transactions. If you look at the setup file that's in that directory in the, in the zip that you can download, you'll see that there's a couple of transactions missing. So if we want to take that log file that we got from the other instance, which has now been destroyed, and be able to salvage information out of that, we're going to have to hack it into this SQL Server. So first off, let's get rid of our dbmate2008 database okay, that we just restored. And now we're going to create a dummy database, like so. We're going to take that database offline, like so. So this is over here. And what we're going to do while that database is offline, see this up here? This is the data directory for our named instance. We're going to get rid of those files completely. We're going to take the log file that I'd copied off the other instance, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put it in this directory here. So now going back to Management Studio, bring that database online. That's cool. We can't bring the database completely online because the data file's not there. That's what we'd expect. But we should be able to take a log backup of that log file. Now, of course, we can't do it using regular syntax but check this out. We've taken a log backup from a different instance, copied it over to this instance, hack attached it, and we can take a log backup. We can do the tail of the log backup on a different instance. So now going back and doing my full restore sequence, I need to copy and paste this. There's my full backup. There's the log backup that I previously taken. And this is my tail of a log backup that I just took. Check that out, okay? I restore, finish the restore sequence, and I managed to salvage two more transactions from that tail of a log backup that I managed to hack, attach, and perform on a different physical instance. That's cool. Okay, hope you've learned a lot from this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a SQL Skills Insider. Until next time, bye-bye.